Hello and welcome to our news channel How Wendy. Last week American President Donald Trump has asked for hydroxychloroquine which is very similar to chloroquine and an anti-malarial drug which has been touted as a popular cure for COVID-19. Let me tell you that this drug also cures autoimmune diseases like lupus and rheumatoid arthritis among other ailments. President Trump has said that US FDA has approved the drug for treating coronavirus but the company denied. However, Mr. Trump later said that it has been approved for compassionate use. Trump administration has already created a stockpile of 29 million doses of this malaria drug. We bought a tremendous amount of is the hydroxychloroquine, hydroxychloroquine, which I think, as you know, it's a great malaria drug. It's worked unbelievably. It's a powerful drug on malaria uh, and there are signs that it works on this, some very strong signs. Mr. Trump believes that this malarial drug can be a game changer for coronavirus. However, many drug specialists and infectious disease experts have raised an eyebrow over his overexcitement about this drug. There have been reports from Nigeria that people have taken this drug and they have been poisoned after the overdose. These people took the drugs as an overexcitement after Trump's declaration. The Indian government has decided to partially lift the ban on two key drugs, hydroxychloroquine and paracetamol, to clear all existing orders. And these shipments will be allowed on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, I know that he stopped it for other countries. I spoke to him yesterday. We had a very good talk and we'll see whether or not that's it. I would be surprised if he would, you know, because India does very well with the United States. For many years, they've been uh, taking advantage of the United States on trade. So I would be surprised if that were his decision. He'd have to tell me that. I spoke to him Sunday morning, called him, and I said, we'd appreciate your allowing our supply to come out. If he doesn't allow it to come out, that would be okay, but of course there may be retaliation. Why wouldn't there be? The Indian government decision has come up at a time when Trump has threatened to retaliate over these medical supplies of drugs. For latest news and analysis, keep watching our channel and do subscribe and do hit the bell icon.